News coming in, we're shifting focus to Bangalore and West Bengal, ladies and gentlemen, which will see a high octane fight between the BJP and the TMC for the 2024 Lok Sabha election. These visuals on your screen are from Kolkata, where the BJP is protesting over the attack on the Enforcement Directorate team, which was raiding a top TMC leader in connection to the Russian distribution scam. So that's the piece of breaking news that's coming in. Those visuals on your screen are from Kolkata, where BJP workers and the Kolkata police uh, have engaged in a face-off with those visuals on your screen when it comes uh, to the attack on the ED team in West Bengal when the ED was raiding a top TMC leader in connection to the Russian distribution scam. Those visuals on your screen where the BJP TMC face-off continues in the state of West Bengal. BJP workers on the streets of Kolkata facing off with the police as they uh, as they accuse the TMC government of Gundagiri by targeting the enforcement directorate which is uh, exposing corruption in the state. That is the charge coming in from the BJP camp. I'm joined by my colleague Arun Dhanta on the broadcast. Arun, give us the details. Well, that's right. BJP is uh, intensifying heat uh, there in West Bengal on the TMC government because we all know what happened there uh, You know, a few days back when ED officials uh, were there to raid uh, one of uh, the TMC leaders and uh, the way they were attacked there and therefore in this regard BJP uh, state leadership has uh, has, has, has started protesting uh, there in North 24 Parganas against uh, uh, the, uh, the, the TMC government there against the Mamta, Mamta Banerjee government there in, in West Bengal and we have seen uh, how this tussle is going on between uh, the, uh, the, the central agencies and, uh, uh, and the TMC government in, in West Bengal. Not only uh, the recent instance of uh, ED officials uh, being attacked but even in the past as well we had seen that how uh, you know, ED officials were in fact uh, uh, taken into custody by the by the very West Bengal police. So we, there are multiple instances of uh, such kind where we have seen that uh, central agencies and uh, the TMC government have been at uh, loggerheads, and uh, and BJP is uh, making this a point that how uh, TMC is making mockery of uh, the the investigating agencies when they are there on the ground uh, investigating uh, the matters uh, and they their 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 goons uh, their 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 people are attacking uh, those uh, agency officials and in fact uh, we, we 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 are seeing this thing happening uh, happening at that juncture when we are, we are very close to Lok Sabha elections and how uh, BJP, uh, you know, planning to counter uh, TMC there in, in Lok Sabha elections. We had seen uh, the, the, the massive success which BJP got in, in last uh, Lok Sabha elections there in Bengal. Similar that BJP is once again intensifying their, uh, their protest, uh, their voice against uh, TMC government in West Bengal. Absolutely. And let's get a backgrounder for our viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Three ED officials were injured and their mobile phones and laptops and wallets were allegedly looted when they went to Sandesh Khali and not 24 Parganas uh, to search the premises of Shah Jahan Sheikh, a TMC leader. This happened on the 5th of January. The raid was carried out on Sheikh as he has said to have links with the arrested state food minister Jyoti Priya Malik under investigation in the multicrore Russian distribution scam in West Bengal. And in the wake of that attack, the BJP has launched a firestorm against the TMC. And those visuals on your screen coming in from Kolkata, where the BJP is facing off with the Kolkata police uh, when it comes to the attack on the Enforcement Directorate team. I'm also joined by my colleague Kamalka Sen Gupta on the broadcast. Kamalka, the MHA has also sought a report from the Bengal government when it comes to the events of the 5th of January. This has become another flashpoint between the TMC and the BJP. Yes, definitely, and this protest is in Najat Thana, the Thana which is the Sandesh Kali area Thana, that is the Najat Thana, and this protest is taking place there. The BJP state president, Shushkanta Mojuda, he has gone there. Now, the BJP's point is that four days to five days have crossed. Still now, there is no arrest in this case. And why Shah Jahan is still uh, not uh, been arrested? That's a very big question which BJP is raising. On the other hand, in Kolkata High Court today, the ED has also appealed to the Kolkata High Court so that the FIR that has been lodged against ED, that is stayed or that is rejected because uh, in the court also the ED officials, they have submitted this appeal and they have appealed stating that the, uh, that the case filed by the West Bengal police is just to pressurize the ED. Right now, that hearing is also continuing in Kolkata High Court. 
And in another case also, where the ED officials approached, there are two cases now the ED has approached to the court for Sandesh Kali. One is no coercive action should be taken. There, uh, the, the, the court has ordered, uh, give, given a verbal order that till next hearing, no coercive action will be taken against the ED officers because those officers again, who got attacked, there is an FIR against them. Now, the second appeal which the ED officials have done is to reject that FIR, the FIR that is being slapped on the ED officers. On the other hand, in politics, as you can see in Najat, in Chandishkali, BJP is doing a protest. They have geared out the thana. In the last couple of days, they have been doing this protest in various places. And today, it is Najat, in Chandishkali, where they are doing this protest. So these, so these protests are taking place in Chandishkali, which was uh, the place where that attack took place on the ED officers. Kamalika, also tell us the details of the FIR against the ED officers. What have they been booked for? Uh, see, that's a very big question which the Bengal Paul Police has done. The Bengal Police has filed an uh, FIR on the basis of a complaint of a person who has claimed that this ED officials, then unknown ED officials, they went to this Shah Jahan's place and they barged into this house and uh, they, they actually, uh, without any permission or without anything, they came into uh, their house and they broke the, uh, broke the uh, lock of this house. So <clears throat> this is the FIR that has been lodged by the West Bengal Police. And this is what is now contested in the court as the ED officials. The ED submission in the court is, is absolutely uh, the, the West Bengal Police. The state is trying to put pressure on the ED officials. And that is why they have slapped such a case. On the other hand, the, uh, the state is of the opinion and the state is giving their submission that because one house was barged in, that, um, if, uh, that the, the, the person from that house, the caretaker of Shah Jahan, he came up with an FIR and that is why this was this, this FIR was lodged. So whether it will be said or not, that hearing is on. But on other appeal where, where also the ED officials actually appealed against the West Bengal Police in that the court has given a verbal order stating that till the next hearing, no coercive action will be taken against the ED officers. Right, so that is the direction that has come in from the court. But Kamalka, also on January 5th itself, we saw the similar charges coming in from top TMC leaders who in fact had accused the ED of provoking the people on the ground, harassing the people on the ground, which led to the violence. Yeah, definitely. The Trinamool Congress stand was absolutely that the ED officers there, the provoked the common people out there, which led to this protest and which led to this violence out there. So that was the Trinamool Congress stand from the party and as we can see the matter is in court, the administration is also, uh, they are not directly stating that but some way in that FIR it is also clearly written that some unknown officials who are posed as ED, they came in and they barged into the residence and they broke the lock. So all those things, the party, the DMC party has been defending this entire situation by stating but the ED officers have been raiding uh, various houses, various leaders' houses for the last two years. What happened there, that after two years, this house, when they went to the Shah Jahan's place, there they got attacked. So that was the uh, political question which was ro raised by TMC. Now that this FIR has come up, this FIR is now, ED is contesting this in the court and we really have to see what the court orders. Absolutely. And at the same time, the TMC finds itself in the storm of several corruption scandals. Now, the ED investigation over which the attack took place in Sandesh Kali was over the Russian distribution scam where a state food minister, Jyotipriya Malik, is currently under investigation and in custody as well. Uh, Kamalika, take us through that uh, Russian distribution scam which has become this fresh flashpoint of corruption in West Bengal. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.